back to session 49 learn excel from Karpagam. In this video I am going to show you how to create checkerboard effects in excel. Let's get started. If at all you are wondering what is a checkerboard effect. This is checkerboard effects and I have created this using a simple formulas in excel. This video is in continuation with the last video with mod function. In order to create this kind of checkerboard effects we need to know three functions mod, row and column and I'm going to show it to you. Let me talk about a row function, what basically a row function performs here. Just look at here. I'm going and typing it as a row and giving the reference. When I say it's a reference, it goes and takes the particular row reference here and written as this row number as seven. Yes, when I just drag it down, you can see it's going to give us the row number. This is the speciality of using a row function. On the other hand, I'm going to use a column function. Column function also performs in the same way, similar to a row. It goes and takes the reference of this particular column and written as which column this is. You can see this is column 10. And when you just drag it down, you can see it's going to give you the column number. So row number and column number, when you want to find out, you can use a row reference and a column reference. Now, how are we going to use a mod function? Say, for example, I just want to know whether this number is divisible by 2. If it is divisible by 2, return 0 or else return me 1. This is what we want to do. Equal to, I'm using the mod function. What is the number we want to do? So, I'm taking a row reference. What is that we want to see? Is it divisible by 2? Close the bracket when you enter. You can see it returns a reminder, which means this is not an even row. When I just drag it down, you can see it's going to return a 0, 1, 0, 1. Yes, 1 stands for odd number and 0 stands for an even number. In the same way, we can do it with the column also. Mod function, insert the column function, use the reference here, comma, 2, close the bracket, hit enter, you have seen, which means this is an even column. Just drag it down, you can see even, odd, even, odd. In the other way, how exactly we can fetch this formula with the true or false mod, insert the row reference again, comma, close the bracket, equal to zero. This gives us true or false, which false is an odd number, true is an even number. In the same way, you can use this for a column reference as well, mod, Reference divided by 2 should be equal to 0. There should not be any reminder. When it returns a reminder of 1, which means it's an odd column. You can see this is an odd column because the reminder is 1. When we just drag it down, you can see for this column, it's a L column, even column, odd, even, and this goes on. The same formula, we are going to use it here. So we have used mod row reference divided by 2 should yield us a result of 0. So what I'm going to do here is, let's select this, go to conditional formatting, from conditional formatting, pick new rule. In the new rule dialog box, what you can do is, you can click upon use a formula to determine which cell to format. Then use this formula of mod, mod, open bracket, row reference, comma, to, do not insert zero because we want to create a checkerboard effects. We are giving instruction when the row returns a zero, when row is also even number and column is also even number. This is what we want to do. Mod, column reference, comma, to close the bracket. Go to format, click on whichever color you are interested in, click OK. Now you can see checkerboard effect is created. Yes, it's very easy and interesting. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for joining. Stay tuned for more such videos. Good day.